We all love Cyberpunk for the variety it gives us in every combat scenario. We could run around with a katana, mantis blades, we could pimp out our cyberware and jump 40 feet in the air, but today we're not going to be doing that. Today I'm going to be only upgrading body and playing on the hardest difficulty and forcing myself to using the body weapons that includes blunt weapons, shotguns, LMGs, and of course my fists. This is Cyberpunk while only leveling up the body. Enjoy. So here is our body only V. As you can see, he has no nipples and is below IQ in every category except for body. We quickly find ourselves hunting down Sandra Dorset to save her from organ dealers because the street kid origin story is actually a 15 minutes of straight yapping and because i didn't use all of my skill points while i was creating my v i actually had four left over that i immediately put in a body to make my body a 10 to start the game with my first encounter with jackie consisted of me watching him stare at a wall as well as shoot at it some so i would have to take matters into my own hands i rushed in with a tire iron and immediately got gunned down so I opted to do the entire encounter stealthy because that was probably the only way I was going to get it done. And since I'm not allowed to do any hacking, I couldn't distract this guy, so I just beat him to death with a tire iron while screaming stop resisting. He finally stopped resisting and I was able to save the wet naked lady, but since she never consented, she was immediately taken away by police forces. I made it out of there quick enough though before they could put me on the sex offenders registry list. Which would have actually became pretty handy, because making an Ancestry.com account is pretty hard. I like to look at my family's history through the registry instead. We got in a car shootout, which I did not partake in because it wasn't with my body skills. V, aim for the driver! So I stared at them intently until they crashed the vehicle. Dexter did some yapping as well, and gave me a mission to steal back a flathead from the Maelstrom gang. I then smoked this game's equivalent to Crack Rock, and took the diplomatic approach. I was now wielding a baseball bat, which allowed me to make pretty quick work of everyone inside, and saved Brick during my escape. I just remembered I haven't said what any of my investments were into the body skill tree yet. Most of my investments were into blunt weapons, and of course health regeneration. No begging, no debt. No corpo strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Yes, Jackie. Showing up with little to no preparation at all is the way to go. Met with Evelyn Parker to find out where this Arasaka chip is being held during our heist. Can, I, can we not have a holographic stripper during this meeting? I might get a little distracted. Then I got hit by my own car. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and now this heist is underway, taking place at Kopecky Plaza. I of course let Jackie do all the talking Welcome because I don't have enough chromosomes to rub together. When asked why we were bringing military hardware into a hotel, we just simply answered that we're just chill guys. And then they let us through and apologized profusely. Oh yeah, believe me, this isn't the first time I brought a bomb into a hotel. Next. Then I made a decision that I want to be an alcoholic. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I'm fucked up. Alright, let's get this job underway, shall we? And that we did, but instead of successfully pulling off the heist of the century, we watched a son strangle his father in cold blood. My pants quickly filled with urine, so we attempted an escape. Bug. Might as well steal Need more shit, Jackie, hurry. Now. Fill your pockets, we gotta we got get shit to steal. Fuck. After some petty thievery, we jumped off the roof. Dumbass Jackie forgot to roll and got injured in the process, and is profusely bleeding out. We had to fight our way out, and I quickly came to the realization that I don't have any weapons. Not even my baseball bat, a shotgun, absolutely nothing. So I had to go fists only throughout this entire section. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh, really lucky I don't got my bat, mister. Shut up, shut up. Cripple movement. No, 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 please do not cripple my movement. This is all I have. No, 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 please, 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 please. Make my cyberware malfunction. See if that actually does anything, dipshit. Then I remembered I got this brand new skill, which allows me to truck people like Prime Adrian Peterson without the child beating. Don't get me wrong, though. People still got beat to death or to a vegetative state. Don't this. Oh, yeah, I can run over two people at a time, too. That seems a little overpowered, but I love it. Running around in circles between these two rooms and just running them over non-stop over and over again, and it actually seems to be working a little bit, I think. I think this says something about Cyberpunk in some of the ways, and fun ways especially, that you can play this game. If you go against every part of your being and using weapons and katanas and all that, and you just run through motherfuckers' faces, it's a lot more fun than you'd expect. 
during our escape, I actually had to shoot down these drones because I attempted not to shoot a single drone and we ended up dying, so I had to make an exception and use a firearm for once. Then Jackie died. Before I could get my shit cleaned up out of my pants, Dexter decided to cross me and knock me out. And I think take advantage of me, but I don't know, I was unconscious. Shot me. Then I became this really handsome man named Keanu Reeves, committing an act of terrorism, which I participated in without any hesitation at all. Since V is the one with all the body upgrades, I thought while I was the handsome rocker boy Johnny Silverhand, that I would just go guns blazing and just not care about any of my body requirements at all. After regaining consciousness back as V, I found myself in a New York studio apartment. It seems that the only thing motivating me at this point is the handsome rocker boy Johnny Silverhand in my head committing acts of terrorism. I know I needed to continue my reign of terrorism too. So nothing at this point was ever going to stop me. Never mind, I have brain cancer and I'm going to die in the next few weeks. What I fail to recognize though is that I have to now negotiate with this terrorist in my head. Though handsome, complete dickhead. I don't got any smokes. I'm already dying of like brain cancer. I don't need any more. Actually... Now would be the perfect time to get some things off my bucket list, like smoke crack for the first time. The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to- What the hell? I'm not a joy toy, you're the- You're the little hooker. Well, stop ah. taking advantage of me! I'll He's making me away. smack my head against a window, stop! After that, everything was just a blur, and I found myself awoken in the fetal position in the shower, crying. Another level up, you know what that means? Body 19. We're at level 10, we almost have max body already, that's insane. And for those of you wondering, this is what my skill tree currently looks like. I think I'm witnessing a crime. Hold on, Takamura. I have to deal with something real quick. And so... Officer, what the hell did I do? Stop that. Oh, it seems that my baseball bat can't stop bullets. I, I saved that woman, met up with Takamura regarding my brain cancer. And you let me know about a feller named Hellman. I just realized I am in this diner in the complete nude. <laughs> Yes. Surprised they let me in the place. Met with Rogue so I can Not meet here. with Pan Am so Not I can here. meet with Hellman. Who are you? I'm a make a wish kid. I got a terrorist in my head. Got more people are calling me. Now that I have cancer, dude, everyone wants to just call me, call me, call me. Can I be left alone with my beautiful wife here, soon to be wife? Okay. We met once, but it's. I, I know she's the one. Before Pan Am would help me kidnapping Hellman. She needs some help of her own, getting her merch and her truck back. Alright, whatever the hell that means. I'm just gonna beat him to death, Pan Am. Stealth isn't really my thing. This wasn't my idea of a first date, but I couldn't be happier committing murder with my favorite virtual girlfriend. Just gotta keep moving, just gotta keep moving. Just don't stop moving until- Holy shit! I got velocity on him. Oh yeah, go ahead and malfunction my cyberware. See if I- Okay, I'm done. Good way for Pan Am to just kill them all, if she isn't dead already. How you doing, Pan Am? No, oh, she's running while facing a firing squad. All right, so I think I figured out a loop that I can do pretty easily and still be pretty safe at the same time. So I jump over here. I may or may not run him over. I'm gonna heal up, and while I'm high on adrenaline, I'm gonna run these feckers over on this bridge. Then I'm gonna run into Nash's room, run him over, jump out the window, rinse and repeat. I think that's the best way to go about doing this without getting absolutely torn apart. Oh, I think Pan Am finally killed someone. Had a girl. Keep going, Pan Am. You're doing great. <laughs> I think. Heal up. This is just the last guy. Me and Pan Am are gonna double team him and finally complete this encounter. Holy shit. That actually took me like 15 minutes of just straight running around, but it was worth it. After some sleep, Pan Am would now hold up her end of the deal and commit another act of terrorism and shoot down an AV carrying our man Hellman. To take down this AV though, me and Pan Am had to commit a little terrorist attack, let's just say. Find the controls. Find the controls? I don't know what the hell is going on. Shit, I'm not great with computers, Pan Am, you know this. Ah, uh, hold on, I have an idea. Start whacking it. Oh, luckily- oh, oh, overcharge was the first option. What do you know? That's convenient. That's a little weird to have on a, like, a nuclear power plant or whatever the hell this is. What's going on? Uh, Wait, doesn't look quit. like your detonator's working, Pan Am. Oh. oh, never mind, it worked. How the hell did you get that? Oh my gosh. Will you marry me? We arrived at the crashed AV to find some of Pan Am's clan members dead alongside it. You know what? I'm going after that thing first. I'm going to see what happens. Oh, now I'm on fire. Feck you! Feck you! Feck you! Die! Die! 
Uh, yes! Okay, run for your life, V. Run, run, run! I just took out that floating refrigerator with a, nothing but a baseball bat. That was cool. Sorry That's about cool. Scorpion. My bad, fellas. That really, really sucks. Can we go get Hellman now? Before we continue our journey, though, I think I made the best investment here in the skill tree with the quaking ability. Exactly what me and Pan Am wanted. It was more people to beat on! Got this dumb shit! Get ass quaked on, nerd. Holy shit, that is overpowered so much. Hey, dumb man. man, I really didn't realize I would love this playstyle so much, but they give you so many options. It was at this moment when I realized that I've really been missing out on Cyberpunk, especially with its recent updates in these certain really niche playstyles. With that being said, of course, if you guys would like to see another playthrough of Cyberpunk with a funny niche playstyle, do let me know, because I think like doing something like hacking only would be a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys would like to see that, and of course, consider dropping and like and subscribing if you are new. Get ass quaked on nerd! Should have brought a gun to an ass quaking competition. Focus! Yeah, focus on this beating. Get ass quaked on nerd! Oh shit! All right, I believe Hellman is up here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh Rats fuck you! Left. After interrogating Hellman for a while, we find out that the biochip or the brain cancer in my head is that there's no real cure for it, and that he doesn't really know how to help me. So. Here we are, back to square one once again. I want to try to ass quake on a car real quick. It sounds real. Hold over. Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. That just looks so... Oh. Ma'am. All right, I'll just take this car off your hands if that's cool. Criminal activity reported in Watson. Criminal act. It's hardly criminal. I threw my ass around a little bit. What's what's the crime exactly? God damn, I forgot cars in this game handle like wet toothbrushes at the bottom of your bathtub while you shower. Excuse me. Oh, God. My, my bad. So right now, our next lead is Evelyn Parker, who is working at this Clouds nightclub place. So we're heading there to investigate and figure out who hired her for the heist job to see if we can't get any more answers for, yes, brain tumor. I also picked up this hammer from some random uh, gun vendor. Oh, wait. Ooh, I can do finishers now. That's right. Oh, that's badass. Now you're fucked. Oh, am I? <laughs> Dumbass, get up. So get up! Oh, what? Oh! Uh, sure, just give me Angel. I don't care, I'm just here to get answers. Hello, Angel. Vincent, right? I'm Angel. You're Angel. What? 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 Why is the door locked? You're catch, dumbass. Ass quake! Yeah, don't ever bring me to a club. All right, Tom told me that Evelyn has been sold by this uh, woodman guy, or the boss around here, so I'll go visit that man, see what he has to say for himself. Ass quake! Oh, that, that's just never gonna get old, is it? I don't negotiate with terrorists. Oh, you don't negotiate with terrorists? So Woodman, the manager, sold Evelyn off to this guy named Fingers, who sold her off again or something like that. I could be getting that incorrect, but either way, Evelyn is in like a sex dungeon right now, getting her organs taken out. Fingers also lent me his really cool melee weapon called the Cottonmouth, which applies some random elemental damage. I found it next to a bottle of baby oil, so I think it was used for, um, uh, butt stuff, but it's a pretty good weapon. Regardless, let's see how far I can throw you. Yeet! God damn. Woo! Holy shit, that is so much fun. I love that. All right, let's see what fingers this cotton mouth can really do. Our investigation led Evelyn to this factory place here. There I was again, nude, infiltrating a compound with nothing but my own and utter stupidity. Ass quaking time. I don't want to know what the hell fingers use this thing for, cause he- <laughs> God damn the velocity on that man, that is so fun! These guys heard me snap the neck of their friends, well... Probably should have been minding your own business, but... Not my problem anymore. Catch. No, oh, what's up, fellas? You'll do what to me? Uh, I don't think so. Here, catch. With Evelyn now security, we'll finally figure out who hired her to go to Yorinobu and figure out what's in his apartment to do the heist that we inevitably botched at the beginning. So we got some footage of her meeting with the Voodoo Boys to see if we can't get any more answers for my brain cancer issue. Awaiting my call to meet with the Voodoo Boys, I took it upon myself to beat on the local mentally ill folk, that of course being cyber psychos, and it went about as you'd expect. I got my meeting with the Voodoo Boys, but of course they wanted something from me first, so they roofied me through my 
my link and convinced me to kill everyone in a mall, which I was honestly all for. That seemed pretty fun. Thank you. You're cut. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh! This gym part took me a really, really long time. It took lots and lots of ass quaking. It took me about an hour, and that's when I finally realized that maybe, just maybe, I should start doing some cyberware upgrades to improve my skill set already tenfold, but I was really keen on doing this entire thing as, you know, still technically human. I didn't really have any cyberware up until this point. Ass quake! That is until we met the lovely Sasquatch who kicked my shit in a few dozen times in a row. After dancing for about 20 minutes with this freak, I got incredibly lucky. Alright, this feels really dirty, but she got stuck. And I took advantage of her and just fired, what, now 60 shotgun shells at her from this distance away. She cannot move, but she's about to die. And I think I'm okay with that. You know what? She's giving me absolute hell and back, but... Hey, she didn't have to do that move, okay? That was her choice. It was at this moment, though, that I realized that, yeah, maybe I should get some upgrades. Night-night, bitch! I did the Johnny flashback scene regarding alt. Oh, there's Placide. Oh, I've been waiting for this, pal. Dumbass. Yeah, dodge this. Placide, back you. Ass quake. Then I got my much-needed cyberware upgrades. Oh, look at that. I'm taking so much less damage now, too. Oh, yeah, let me just slow down time. Just wail on you! Oh my god. Oh wait, I need I do need to try something real quick. I can jump like this now and then ass quake. Okay, that that'll take some getting used to, but that is gonna be really overpowered. We were running out of options because the voodoo boys were absolute dumbasses and couldn't help me at all. Shocker. So Takamura brainstormed this wonderful plan that we kidnapped Hanako, the other Arasaka head in the corporation, which is Yorinobu's sister. So we're gonna hack into her parade floats, and that's why we're here at this warehouse, is to get access to the parade floats before they enter the parade. Come here, bitch. Hey, Takamura, catch! <laughs> oh my god, I love how far you can throw him. So we committed a massive terrorist attack on a parade to kidnap Hanako. And look who decided to show up. Feckin' Takamura's friend. Yeah, time to get your ass beat, you little freak! Mantis Blade is bitch work, pal. Go to sleep, Oda. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Holy crap, I absolutely wiped the floor with this freak. Yeah, don't scream. We're just kidnapping you. Don't worry about it. At least the kidnapping was successful, though. Before we could get any real answers out of Hanako, though, Takamura's DoorDash order or something showed up. I can't exactly remember. You didn't order a pizza, did you? Oh, no. There's no pizza guy out here. That's weird. Oh, shit! Get down! SWAT team! Ugh. Because I am a hero, though, I went back to save Takamura, which made this mission a bit harder. All right, I think the game plan here in this tiny little hallway is to just... Run out, ass quake, run back in, wait for another ass quake. I think it's going pretty well, if I'm being honest. Pick you up, toss you over here to your other friend. <laughs> God damn, I could barely tell what the hell's going on, but I'm having a lot of fun. Takamura and I made it out, and then Hanako wanted to meet, and uh, she started yapping, and I wasn't paying attention at all. With that being said, I wouldn't get much of a very good ending to this game. The body playthrough and playstyle was super, super fun, but I wanted to end it off on my own terms, though, so I actually chose the semi-secret suicide ending. Kidding! Turns out that Rogue will help you take revenge on Adam Smasher and save V, so long as you okay. so smash her. She'll help you with smash her if you smash her. All you had to do was take her on a date, and she's like all in. I, I, so, uh, that's what we chose. What are you doing? Oh god, Jesus Christ! Are we dead? What the hell? Oh yeah, anti-grav boots. God, those came in clutch. I put on an excellent all-body performance, ass quaking, the throwing, it was the whole shebang, and I wiped the floor with some of these elite Arasaka soldiers. What the hell? Oh. Ow! Oh. Found Smasher, he's definitely here. No. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh. No! Oh, well, there goes Rogue. After a very long and hard ass quaking competition with Adam Smasher. We finally beat him. There you go. Come here, Smasher. 
Earthquake! The only way I know how to finish you. Assquake. Bitch. And then I decided to choose the sun ending, which means Johnny dies in cyberspace or just stays in cyberspace. V keeps his body and keeps it for another few weeks before he finally has his end and his blaze of glory. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you beat Cyberpunk 2077 by only upgrading your body. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new, consider subscribing. And in the meantime, check out this video right here. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.